Hi guys. Uh, some of you have asked me to take a look at behind the scenes of what the flight deck looks like and uh, how I boot everything up. Anyway, here she is sitting in my garage. I have three 75 inch monitors, left, center, and right, that are hooked up to three computers. Now to turn these on, basically all I have to do is turn on my monitor. My left computer here is actually back at Jetline being worked on, so I don't have that one here. But we can actually boot up the center and the left, and the right is basically the same. Let me see if I can lighten it up back here. So you can see. Alright, hopefully that's good enough. This is the center computer here. As you can see, there's really nothing hooked up to it. I've got the power plug, high definition for the uh, monitor and it's connected to the network. Turn on my computer, and I'm gonna come up here and just turn on the monitor. And it's gonna run Windows 7 64-bit. So what I just did in the center, basically we do it again on the left. We'll come over to the right computer, and we're gonna do the same thing. We'll turn on the uh, monitor, and we'll turn on the computer. If we come back around to the front, We'll see, well, as you can see, the right computer I don't have hooked up. Left computer is now booting up into Windows, and the right and the left computer is also booting up into Windows. So while this is booting up, I'm going to come back and boot up my flight sim computer, which actually runs off this monitor right back here. Um, this is the computer right here. Let's kick that up, and we'll turn the monitor on. And this is going to boot up to Windows 7 64 as well. All the graphics in here are basically turned down to nothing. I'm just using this for the coordinates and sending all the data to uh, the visuals. So that's it for prepared. Prepared is going to be up and running. The only thing I have to do next is set everything up on the network, which is pretty easy. So these computers are now up and running. I'm going to run prepared. I'm zoomed out as far as I can. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing here. But as you can see, I'm going to run prepared version 4. And I'm going to do the same thing for my center computer here as well. I got a default location where they start. So, and while they're booting up, hopefully Windows is up over here and we can get prepared up as well. Well, not yet. How about we get some light back here? How about that? All my train stuff is sitting here. It's for my HO scale train set for Coney Island I'm going to be doing soon. The computer back here that you can see, that is for my flight deck that runs uh, Flight Deck Solutions hardware software interface. So we'll bring that up in just a bit. All right, you can see this computer is now up and running. And we'll bring up prepared on here as well. Once I've got prepared up and running, as you can see, it takes a while to load up, but I'm running a ton of graphics. So, oh, while that's doing, what we'll do is, I'm going to get power into here. Um, I've got two power supplies that run inside this flight deck, and basically I have it hooked up to a power, power plug, and all I have to do is just throw one switch that's in here. And I'm going to leave you here for a second because I can't get you in there. Now if we come back to the front, we'll see that I have uh, backlighting up. And I've got some uh, activity on the monitor going on here. But that computer is still not boot up yet. So, prepared's up here. Should be up here momentarily. In the meantime, we're going to bring up the uh, the Mabionics computer, which is right here. I've got my surround sound down here with this. We can pick up a surround sound right there. And let's just wait for everything to boot up. As you can see, the flight deck computer is now starting to boot up.
Now once prepared is uh, up and running and stabilized, I'll set them four up on the network and then I have the flight deck set up on a bat program. Or actually I should say Steve Kaz has it set up. And I'm just using it that way. Anyway, all right, that looks pretty good. That scent is taking a while to come up. There we go. Okay. As you can see, this is up as well. So what we'll do now is we'll bring up, Opus is what I use now for my views and for, uh, for the weather because I just, uh, wide client doesn't work. So I have it set up right here. All I have to do is press that uh, right down here in the corner. I'm not getting that view here. And it's going to bring up that box, Opus software. It's going to connect and uh, disappear. Same thing is going to happen to the center, and I'll do the same thing to the, uh, well, I would do it to the, the right computer as well. That's it. Opus is now up on these two. We'll get her up over here. And that's now up and running. So we're up, we're running, we're interconnected. She's going to get the uh, weather data now. As you can see, I'm getting a tremendous amount of frames on this bad boy. But like I said, everything is turned down. I'm pretty much able to maintain 60 frames with these 375 4Ks with the 1080s that are in here in the 70, uh, 700s. Now that this is up and running, and we're pretty much stable, basically what I do now is I'll come into the flight deck and I run this one bat program right in here called Flight Deck Startup. I double click on that and that's it, she's off to the races. Now let's back up and take a look and see what happens as the bat file starts to run. It's actually pretty simple. I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Coming alive. And this is prepared version four that I'm using. Sixty four bit. So now she's up and running. It's pretty much down and dirty. I was testing the other night. So I have one more computer that I have to start up. And that's for my pedestal or the, uh, the floor stand here. And I have that set up to the same computer that I run here, which does my flight planning and whatnot. And that's the computer that's running back here already, which is the sixth computer, which is what I use for that. So... The weather's been updated by Opus. That's all in now. And the only thing I have to do now is come on over here. And let's bring up Sim Avionics. Now, as this pops up online, we'll take a look over here and you'll see she'll start to come alive.
Okay. So as you can see, we have all. And if we actually tune this in, let's go to 124. Yeah, that's good. So as you can see, we do have the one screen here that's dark, but all we got to do is come in here and we can take a look at the engine, all the systems. And that's pretty much it. The flight deck is up and running. We're pretty much good to go. And that's all it takes. Pretty simple. And that's it, fellas.